how is it going everyone Daxels here and today we are reacting to Dan Plan Reaction 2 by the way can you survive SCP containment breach fit Joker let's get into it and away we go Hey, before we start, our Varsity Jackets with the Helper logo is only available for one more mm. week. After that, the Helper logo is gone. So go get it while you can. That Helper design is only available when we do our charity events. We are trying to get rid of child poverty in our town. So be part of the help. Okay, that's it. Enjoy the video. Jay, Joe, Steven, Hosa, and Daniel decided to apply to the SCP Foundation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Steven and I understand because D-class people are lifetime prison criminals. Why the hell is Hosa here? Here. Which we are not. <laughs> We're Jay. just regular people. We're not criminals. Yeah, I just need to pay off my college bills, so I'll take any job I can get, even if it's a threat to my life. Whatever the case is, we are now at the SCP Foundation interview process. The interviewer goes, next, please. That is not how interview goes. It's it's one of those like fast paced interviews. Speed interviews. They, they don't care who they hire. <laughs> yeah, it's like speed data. They're gonna die anyways. So. <laughs> they just need bodies. No, no, that's not true, guys. We just want to give a chance chance for everybody yeah everybody we dies. have amazing insurance by the way <laughs> if you want to get that do you have dental uh, no uh, welcome to the scp <laughs> foundation interview process my name is james now uh, do you guys have any previous experience working on a top secret organization that may lead to impending and inevitable doom well uh, a friend of mine told me his secret favorite flavor of ice cream is strawberry not to tell anyone and i kept that secret pretty well oh. Wait. <laughs> i'm pretty good wow. at hiding bodies and hiding it from the cops interesting do you have any clothes relatives that would question your disappearance i'm a loner who lives in the middle of the woods great fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> my yeah. ex-girlfriend always contacts me every day steven for the last time she doesn't exist no she's totally real she's in a different town you don't know her she moved away <laughs> <laughs> steven what's her name um Baroni? Yeah, she's, she's totally real. Her name is Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> all right, all of you guys are hired. You'll start working as a janitor in really? class Euclid facilities. <laughs> You're no. gonna hire all of these oh, people? God. Hell yeah, dude. We got a job, boys. So you guys are all hired. Yay! Yay! Yay. So what does this you job know? entail? Did you not listen to the map? We were hired to clean as a janitor. Right, right. But what are we cleaning? Are we cleaning like goop or like the remains of past employees, you know, things like that. I can't tell you until you sign this contract. No. No? No, Steven says no, he's not gonna sign your contract. What are you gonna do now, Daniel? Hosa, hold him down. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he has all the right to refuse. No, he not, doesn't. Not in here. Oh, okay. Not in here. I want to seduce Steven with my incredibly good looks. All right, you roll. Oh, you get a 20. <laughs> wow, critical success. Well, fuck. Okay, fine then, I'll sign the contract. Great. Right. <laughs> Time passes well, and all of you have come in for the job. Good morning, Steven. Steven. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, oh, good Jay. Morning, How are you guys doing? I'm doing, doing fantastic. I had a lovely sleep, minus the screaming people. What the <laughs> fuck? You guys go to a bus station, but a different bus comes along and picks you up. And the next thing you know, you arrive at this huge facility. It almost looks like a prison. Oh, oh, geez. The person that hired you comes along and says, oh, hi, guys. Welcome. Hello. Hello. So there is five of you. The first job you'll be in charge of is cleaning SCP-173's cell. Mm. It's nothing huge. <laughs> Just make sure that if you want to blink, you let another person know that you have to blink, and then you blink, okay? Is this this creepy pasta? Wait, no, 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 no. No, wait. this is a scary spaghetti. <laughs> Listen, we gotta go and do this job. All right, Hosa. Are Steve, we all gonna die? Joe. Hello. Yes. I will clean the entire room for you. All you have to do is promise me to look at a very, very naked concrete block. Oh my God. You guys are taken into a room, and all you see is this weirdly shaped, carved feature. What the heck is this? What the what? What is that? And surrounding it are all these feces and blood piled up oh. next to each other. Do not take your eyes off that thing. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. I don't like its badonka donk. James says, <laughs> all right, I got to go soon. But again, once I open this door, you guys are going to go in, not break eye contact. By the way, before the actual game begins, I have to let you know each player has three lives. And okay. I will kill you guys without hesitation. If even one of you comes alive out today... You all win. This is gonna be okay. Oh, guys, does anybody know, like, in the Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels? Yeah, yes. yeah, I know Weeping Angels. That thing is that, oh. except for a lot quicker and a lot more deadlier. All right. Okay. I will just uh, keep on staring at it because although I'm disgusted, I'm weirdly dis intrigued. What happens if the lights go out? Lights flicker. Oh shit. Okay, I pulled yeah. out Wait, a cell where, phone. Jay, hurry where up. Where did the sculptor go? I am oh, yeah, cleaning yeah, yeah. as fast as I can. There's dried <laughs> up poop here. Yes. What do you want me to do? James comes back. How are you guys 
Wait, where is it? What do you mean, where is it? Where is it? Where's oh, what? Oh, oh suck no. a dick. Oh, shit. I have to turn on my flashlight on my phone immediately. A huge sounding alarm starts to go off, and a red light starts flashing. Where? Announcement comes. Where? SCP-173 has escaped its cell. This is not a drill. Why did you keep a flickering if light? If only we had better procedures of cleaning the room. <laughs> turn to James for help. Well, he's dead on the ground. Okay. Good. The safest thing we can do is essentially go back to our cells. Oh, but we still gotta clean this room, man. We were no. gonna to <laughs> Oh my god, Joe. Uh, <laughs> clean if you want to. Actually, that's not a bad idea. What if we lock ourselves in here, wait till this whole thing blows over, and then get out when it's safe? Ah, shit. Do we have access to close the door? Because we don't oh. have any access to Oh, uh, no, right now. no, you can't close the door. Yes. Oh my god, nice. Jay, don't help uh, him. Thank don't you. Oh, crap. No, Jesus you can't close Christ. the door. The door's locked. Yeah, you do. Emergency. Uh, Dan, I feel like you're just like killing us. I think we should sacrifice Jay when we see the thing. Hey, if you kill me you lose an encyclopedia i have a plan guys so all of us are gonna hold hands and then we're gonna okay. put our backs to the wall and then get out of here if there is a lockdown <laughs> breach why would <laughs> all the doors shut down immediately like close immediately because you know oh, prevent yeah. any other containment breaches uh you know, True. for plot. <laughs> <laughs> you guys put your backs on the wall and try to walk out. You have two doors in front of you. One door leads to a place where you remember seeing an SCP called Golden Tweezers. And another room that you remember seeing an SCP-426 called a Toaster being in that vicinity. Which which direction do you go? Neither one sounds good. I think the Tweezers one. The Toasters one sounds like it will just burn us. I think we should go for the Toaster, guys. Oh my god. God, Daniel. Democracy says majority vote, and majority vote says tweezers. <laughs> yeah. Fine, whatever. Tweezers. You go in first. Wait a second, this is reverse psychology. Oh, he yeah. actually wants oh. us to go to the toaster, but he's saying do it, Holy so shit. Steven suggests the other oh, thing. Oh my god, what a mastermind. We okay. can split. No, never split up. Haven't you seen any <laughs> horror movie ever? <laughs> or Scooby Doo? We have three lives. What's the worst that could happen? Who goes into the toaster and who goes into the I'll gold go tweezer? Into the I want to go into the Hold tweezer on. first. Tweezer. Um, all right, Dan, you and me, we go into the toaster, I guess. J. Hosa Steven. Stephen walks into the golden tweezers room. Once you got in, you see this paper giving more information about the golden tweezer. What did it say? Whoever touches it will get an extreme case of OCD. It'll make you pluck out your hair one at a time, and then your nails, then your eyeballs, oh! and then organs. If you force it out from the individual, the individual may use their hands to finish the job. Okay, do not touch that thing. As you do, Stephen vicariously touches the golden what tweezer. What the heck? Wow, this is so neat. He loses what? his focus in his eyes, and he starts to pluck his hair one at a time. Okay. Steven loses a life. <laughs> no. I do not touch Steven whatsoever. He killed himself. I'm not even going to bother trying to pry that thing out Hi, of his Hi, Jay. Plans. I would love a handshake. Thank you. <laughs> Steven throws the golden tweezer at Jay's face. Oh, Jay loses a knife. Are you serious? What? I'll take my shirt off and then cover it. <laughs> and I'm going to be really mean and say Hosa doesn't lose a life. Are you? Wow. 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 So, <laughs> <favoritism>. Joe and <laughs> Daniel goes in the toaster room. I hope you die. Also, there's a paper over there. I am SCP-4. 426. I can only refer myself in first person. If someone is exposed in my presence for more than two months, they will start to try and become a toaster, trying to devour what? electric socket, stuffing themselves with bread, etc. So as long as we don't stay in here for two months, we'll be okay. Wow. Two months is a wow. long time, so uh, I think we're good. All right, let's get out of here, Joe. Oh, sweet. I hate you. I hope you'll die. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys. What happened to your hair? All of you guys meet up, and there's two exits. In one exit, you see a pond, but the pond seems to be blood red. That's kind of creepy. Oh, that's not very good. I think we should drink it. Go ahead. Let me know how it tastes. Another one <laughs> leads to a different room, but there seems to be a bunch of small one-eyed creatures just standing around. I oh, they're no. kind of cute. Wait, no. is this what I think it is? Well, what does it no. do, Jay? Enlighten us. Okay, it is either really good or horrifically bad. Okay, what the heck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, really, Jay? I had no I clue. I'll go to the blood pond. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... I, I'm going to stick with the one-eyed creature. Jay, Joe, and Steven goes in into this. Oh my god. I think I should just let Daniel <laughs> say where he's going first. The room with a bunch of one-eyed creatures. They are called SCP-131. The note says Oh, often acts as pets and warns others of danger. Can I keep one? Yes, you can. And <gasps> yes, its eyes will remain open, which means Oh. 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 Actually, how many is there in the room? There's a bunch. There's a lot. There's like... Oh, okay, a... everybody take one. Everybody take five. Can I just take two? Yeah. Okay. I, I would like you to like... grab a handful of these guys <laughs> who try to snuggle you when you pick them up. I will name you Squishy, and you will be Squishy Junior. Meanwhile, and Daniel <laughs> walk into this um pond. Wait, 
Wait, we are outside, aren't we? Daniel looks up. It seemed like a sky before, but it really wasn't. It's just like an artificial sky. Uh-oh. What's happening? I'm not sure, dude. Oh, look, there's a note. Object class cater. Entities emerge from the pool. These creatures are aggressive and highly dangerous. Oh, shit. Instant oh, death on. once entered. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no! Daniel and Hosa loses a life. Joe, Steven, and Jay walks in with a bunch of these cute things. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel walks in, bloodied up, almost oh at the brink of death. Oh my god, you guys, check out these things. They're so adorable. You have to look at them. They're adorable. Look at them. Here you go. You can name them. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Oh, look, another two door exits. Hmm. So convenient. One door, you kind of open and it's it's hot. And you open a little bit more and you see this man on fire. He's have wings. Fireman? Okay, cool. You close it back. <laughs> another right, door, cool. you open, and all you see are warnings to not look. And you close the door again. Which one do you go into? I highly suggest we go to actually the room that says do not look. So how are you going to enter this room then? Just look at the walls. Do not look anywhere else. Right. Just ground or walls. Well, you guys can do that. I'm going to go hmm. uh, meet the fire guy because he seems like he would give a warm welcome. I'll go with Joe, actually. Yeah, let's go. Let's, go. let's hold right. hands. Not because we have to. I just want to. Jay, Steven, <laughs> and Daniel decide to go into the room where you see this warning sign to not look. As you open the door a little bit more you can feel a presence of a creature at the far right side of the corner but there's also an exit at Hello, the left side creature no do not do not look do not look do not look the creature I'm, makes I'm a moaning sound i close the squishy's eyes and i walk along the wall as i look at the ground and just walk forward you know how people used to make those human trains yep we do a mini version of that and we all look down and we exit and we're safe you conga line we do not want to die we do not want to die we do not want to die Elsa and joe hey mm -hmm. walk into this other room and this human that was really far away it turns out to be a humanoid entity that is 320 meters tall wait what Jesus. it appears to have wings but no one ever can really agree on exactly how many wings it has Do and you as you angel? walk towards it if you're life? curious to know more about it you get instantly distant our kind of you are erased <laughs> from existence <laughs> wow Osa and Joe loses another wow. life so what happened to the pets then <laughs> oh the pets the died pets too died. Oh, no, the oh, pets. No. oh and and also Hosa and and Joe, but yeah, no, mostly the squishy. Pets. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Joe, I will give you one of my squishies. Oh, thank you. Take care of Joe. Yeah. You can't have any of mine. They're my boobs. No, <laughs> I'm not getting drawn with boobs. Do you know how many gender bender fan art we get? Oh my god, wow. I want gender bent fan art. <laughs> Joe, I will make sure I put that in for because you because I bet I look hot as a girl. Send him, send him <laughs> gender bender memes. Yes, and then there are wow. another two doors. One door leads to a man named Fernand. Another door leads to an orange slime. Orange slime, orange slime, orange slime. Okay, anyone contained in here obviously seems like they're a bad yeah, person. Yeah, let's, let's check the slime. How about that? But I think the slime is just going to eat us. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. Orange slime, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> yeah. Is it delicious? No, 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 no. Don't you fucking dare eat the slime. Should I go into the other room just to see what it's about? Please do. So Daniel goes in the other room. <laughs> no, you have a pet. Give us the pet first. No, it's mine. It's either this slime room or... Give us the pet. What? Yeah, don't. Can I steal his pet? I would like to steal his pet. Yo, you roll a one, you fail. Okay. Next episode. Anna walks into this room and a man's just standing there. He's an eight foot tall man and he's 700 pounds. He has a giant jaw and a bulbous nose. What the Daniel heck? tries to hold the conversation. Hi, what are you doing in here? He says, Oh, hi. He walks up to Daniel, looks at Daniel. Daniel looks up at him. So, what what are you in for? <laughs> wow. Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can check it out for yourselves. If you enjoyed this video, though, hit the thumbs up. Comment what you'd like me to react to next. Subscribe if you're new or you just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Laters.